it's me, Julia, and today I'm at the scene at DreamWorks Animation Studio in Burbank, California. And I've been invited to a special press day to celebrate the home video release of DreamWorks' newest animated movie, Abominable. Abominable is the story of a young yeti named Everest who is found by a girl and her friends who then go on an epic journey to take the lovable creature back to his family in the Himalayan mountains. It's a movie that's full of adventure, comedy, and heart. So what impressed you and gave you the idea to come up with this movie? When I first came to DreamWorks, they basically pitched me a bunch of movies, but this one they just wanted a Yeti movie and then they had no story. So I got to make up the story and who would not want to invent a mythical creature like a Yeti? So we got to make it our own. We gave him powers to control nature. We gave him, he walks on four legs almost like a dog, which is very different than other Yetis. And he doesn't speak, he just grunts and groans. <laughs> He has a really good laugh. <laughs> so I was just really inspired to create something new for audiences. Do you think there will ever be a crossover with Everest and any other DreamWorks characters? Like Trolls or How to Train a Dragon? Maybe, Maybe. right? That, that would be, be cool. pretty cool. That would be really cool. People are pointing out uh, like how, how Toothless and Everest were kind of similar yeah. in some ways. So yeah, that'd be They cool. should do a whole movie together and there'd be no talking yeah. at all. Yeah. That would be awesome, yeah, actually. that would be, yeah. Like you should do movie. that movie. You should produce that movie. Mm -hmm. Someday. Someday. Someday I will yeah. make it. Yeah. yeah? Would you rather be an actor in a movie, or would you rather be a director in a movie? I would want to be a director and an actor, but if I had to choose one, I would be a director. Wow. wow. Very cool. High five on that one. Woo! All right. Can Thank I ask you. you a question? Yes. What was your favorite part of the movie? Um, when she was like playing the violin in all, uh, under all the palm tree, like the palm tree uh, tree. Oh, very when all the flowers like, all the, came yeah. up. Yeah, and all the branches yeah. were like moving around. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. the pink tree. That, that was one of my favorites. Oh yeah. That's great. Well, I had to wrap it up, so mm -hmm. I guess I could say goodbye. Bye, Julia. Bye, Bye. Bye. you. Before we go make some dumplings, let's go check out the treats. We've got some abominable cupcakes, we've got some Everest cookies, and we've got some classic chocolate chip. Santa would like that. And this is the stuff my mom would want me to eat. We're about to go in and make some dumplings. I'm here with uh, Chef Sully Chan and we just made some bows. So where did you get that idea of making dumplings? Making dumplings? So I've been making dumplings since I was six years old because it's a Chinese tradition that all little kids need to learn how to make dumplings for our moms. And you just made some chocolate peppermint bao. So was it easy for you to make your dumpling? Yes. You just made your first abominable holiday bao with chocolate peppermint inside. Your bao turned out really good. Thank you. Well, we're done. I had such a great time here today. Thanks to DreamWorks for inviting me out to help celebrate Abominable. Coming to home video on December 17th, just in time for the holidays. I'm just saying, Abominable Blu-ray fits really good in a stocking. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe. On the scene from DreamWorks Animation, we'll be